This video is brought to you by JetBrains PHP Storm. Every year we're getting a new version of PHP, which is great, but it means we're going to have to constantly put time into upgrading our code as features are added, deprecated, and removed from the core language. Because our code base is only going to have more lines of code over time, it can be a real pain managing these upgrades without a large push by your development team. Thankfully, we can look to the wonderful open source tool Rector to help us vastly speed up this process. In this video, we'll discuss what Rector is, why we should be including it as part of our continuous integration and continuous deployment pipeline, and get it set up so we can start using it today. Hello developers, and welcome to the PHP Architect channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Scott Keck Warren, and on this channel, we discuss a wide variety of topics related to the PHP ecosystem. Make sure that you follow so you can get our latest videos when they're published. As always, when we're working with tools that make changes to our code automatically, Make sure you're fully testing these changes before you push them, as it can mess up your day. When PHP 8 was released, it was a painful upgrade process for some of us because it made a lot of changes under the hood and removed functionality that our code depended upon. The PHP 8 line has been slowly deprecating more and more functionality as we work through its life cycle. And if we're not careful, upgrading from PHP 8 to PHP 9 could be just as painful as upgrading from PHP 7 to PHP 8. Now our process for upgrading a project from PHP 7.4 to 8 took several developers multiple weeks because we had to manually fix thousands of lines of code by hand. With Rector, we could have sped up the process to the point that I'm wishing I had known about it before. Rector also comes with ways to find dead code and automatically remove it so it's not part of our maintenance load when we do need to upgrade our code. Finally, Rector provides rules that allow us to automatically clean up our code so it's both easier to read and maintain. Now installing Rector is done using the standard composer required command that we've gotten used to. We'll add it to the required dev section as we won't be running it on production. Now we need to initialize Rector using its init command. This command generates a file named rector.php in our current directory that's going to look like the following. This file creates a function that we will use to configure Rector for our project. The first portion sets the pass that we're going to have Rector check. Our project only has a source and a test directory but notice that it's not running on the vendor directory, as we're not the ones maintaining that code. Next, we define the rules and the sets of rules that we want to apply to our code base. We currently only have the inline constructor default to property rector enabled, which moves an assignment of a constant value into the property creation. It's a good example of how to enable a single rule, but what's more helpful to us is the section below, where it enables a set of rules. A set of rules is just what it sounds like and it includes multiple rules that are included in the set so the rector.php file doesn't contain hundreds of lines of all the rules we want to have enabled. In this case, the rule is named level set list up to PHP 8.0, which will include all of the rules needed to make sure that our code has all of the changes necessary to make sure that our code is as compliant as possible for PHP 8.0. There's also an up to PHP 8.1 and an up to PHP 8.2, if we want to go higher. For example, we'll enable the set and remove the single rule. To make sure we're not going to destroy our application, we're going to want to make sure we try any new rules in a dry run first. This is done by running vendor bin rector with the dash dash dry run command line argument. In my case, rector found a place where I can use the constructor property promotion feature added in PHP 8. Now to have rector apply those changes, we'll run it without the dry run argument. Now that we've tackled the keeping our code up to date promise of Rector, there's more that we can do with it to make sure that our code is easier to maintain and read. More about that after this word from our sponsor. PHP Storm is a cutting edge IDE tailored for PHP and web developers. If you haven't used it before, or if it's been a while since you last tried it, now's the perfect time to check it out again. It's received significant performance enhancements and has an ever-expanding feature set with new features added with every new release. If you're curious to see if it's the right fit for you, head to jetbrains.com slash phpstorm to learn more and try it out with a 30-day free trial. Code smarter, not harder. Thank you, JetBrains, for your support. The next thing I want to bring to your attention is the dead code cleanup functionality in Rector. With this set of rules in place, Rector will replace code that doesn't run with a shorter version and less code with the same functionality is always a great goal in my book. It's included by adding the 
rector set value object set list dead code to our configuration. An example of this is the remove empty class method rector rule. In this rule, rector will remove any empty class methods. There are two more rule sets I want to discuss, and they are the rector set value object set list code quality and the rector set value object set list coding style sets. These have rules to improve the code quality and code style respectively. An example of this is the simplify quote escape rector rule. In this rule, rector prefers quotes that aren't inside the string to make sure that our code is easier to read. Now, so far we've run rector manually from the command line, but I want to automate everything I can so I don't forget to perform these critical steps. To do so, we can set up a GitHub action to automatically run rector and commit the results directly to our repository. You can either create this as its own GitHub action or add it as the first task in your current pipeline. I'm going to assume that you don't currently have one, but check out our video on how to use GitHub Actions to test your code. Now, in order to do this, we're going to create a file in the GitHub workflows directory called rector.yaml with the following contents. As always, there is a text version of this article on the PHP Architect website if you do not feel like trying to handwrite all of this. After we push this to our repository in a pull request, we can see how it will affect our code. You can see here that it created a new commit on our branch with the changes automatically applied. Now, one of the truly amazing things about Rector is that it's written in PHP. So we, as PHP developers, can extend it with our own set of rules to fit our specific needs. This could be helpful for performing a large change to our code base and don't want to have to make a bunch of manual edits to the files. For example, we might be renaming our email property in our user class, so it's now login. Now we could do a search and replace of our code base and hope that it's catching all of the changes, or we could write a custom rule for Rector that does this. As a recap, Rector provides a tool to automatically refactor our code. It uses rules to define what to do. We want to integrate it into our code review process to maximize its usefulness. And it provides the ability to create custom rules for custom challenges. As always, I hope you enjoyed our video. If so, make sure you follow, comment, share, and like as it does help others find us. Are there topics that you would like to see us cover? Let us know in the comments below or send me a message on Twitter or phpc.social at scottcatcorn. We would love to hear how we can help you and it always brightens my day when I hear from a fan. This is Scott Keck Warren for the PHP Architect channel signing off and reminding you to keep watching, keep coding, and keep reading. Thank <music> you.